Good morning, it's Friday and it is day, day 11, day 11, today is going to be a good day, it's a Friday, it's Friday like I said before, start of the weekend and my hair is just not cooperating right now, so right now I did, and yeah, I got, it's going to be a good day, got one client that I'm going to train, and then I'm gonna take you guys and then just give you like tell you guys what I do, why I do it, how I do it, how to do it better, what what's the, what are you doing wrong and whatnot like I normally do and then I'm going to Yeah, come home, do a few things, have a few things to check up on, whatnot, and then collect the shirts this afternoon and then going out tonight with my sister. We gotta go buy some stuff for the house, which is pretty exciting. And yeah, so it's gonna be a good day, it's gonna be a fun day. Hope you guys Obviously, you're having a great morning, or whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day. And yeah, I'll see you guys at the gym. Chest, again. But different to what we did that other day. So, same thing, same pre activation movement, flies, but we're doing it with a cable. A little bit above, a little bit above shoulders. What you're gonna do is the exact same thing lean forward, shoulders back and down, and just press. You want to always do some sort of pre-activation movement that targets the muscle that you're going to work out. So for instance, we're doing chest, so we're doing flies. For back I do chin-ups, shoulders I do, you know, obviously shoulder presses, lighter shoulder presses, legs I do squats or even a nice run. So always make sure that you pre-activate before you actually start your workout. And make sure that it's a smart, so about 15 reps. Next exercise. First exercise we're going to do is a dumbbell bench press. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do it with, we're going to do it a little bit differently. So you're going to hold one dumbbell up in the air, so both at the same time, but you're going to bring one down. So you're going to focus on that one side. So unilateral work here, um, but also working on stability and core. Now it's a great exercise for changing up your just normal routine. Obviously building up that strength, stability, and obviously working on your core. So, this is my warm-up set. Also, I suggest doing at least one to two warm-up sets at the actual exercise that you're doing. Get that weight right, and then just work on your working set. So this is the first warm-up set. is build up towards this so start off obviously perfect the bench press and then do this together and then once you can do you know at least 30 32 kilos on each side and you're comfortable at that weight then obviously try to do this but you're gonna have to minimize the weight so start again and and yeah so don't just jump straight into this if you're new to, to weightlifting or whatnot so build up to it work towards it and then build up that strength and stability Second exercise, incline. Still focusing on that incline, like I said, right before I was. What you want to make sure, low back is on the bench. Shoulder blades are locked into that bench. So you see a lot of people kind of lift their butt off. Make sure your butt's always on the bench, shoulders back, elbow is nice and tight, and you're sitting on the upper portion of the chest.
set. Couldn't get that 15, so I did. Just dropped that weight. I did 12 reps on the first set, on that first heavy weight. Dropped it, got another seven. So if you can't do it, then make sure you just drop set on that last set. Next exercise. Next exercise. Cable crossovers. Which one do here is shoulders back, stay straight, lean forward just a little bit. But from here you're gonna come up, press, and cross. Cross. Okay, you pull of those, flex on that chest. Again, as per usual, try to release your shoulders, so try and flip them back, and then try and press over the extent like so, keep it back straight. 12 reps, straight after this, push ups. 12 reps as well. Watch. Exactly the same explanation that I did the last my, on my last video. The exact same. The only difference is that I do today's chest press. I do it heavier than what I did on Tuesday. So Tuesday I get like 12 to 15 reps. This I get to about 8 to 10 reps. So it's heavier. Same machine, but heavier. So the weights are obviously different. The exactly the same thing. Shoulders back. Core engaged. Feel through the chest. I like this machine because it allows me to focus a lot more through that pressing through the, through the chest rather than using the shoulders and the triceps because obviously you can only move up and down right so you don't have to worry about it going everywhere like you do with a barbell or a dumbbell so focus on this and if you're new to training and just starting out start with this one before you start the barbell and dumbbells all right four sets ten reps go dips on the machine now with dips you can use it for your triceps and you can use it also for chest or you can use it as an overall. The misconception is your elbow placement, so either coming out or coming in. That's not true, it's the way that you position your body. So focus more on triceps, it's more of a yeah, upright, coming down, that's more triceps. So focus more on your chest, which is what we're going to do today, right now. You want to lean forward, so lean forward into it. Stretch your chest out and then press. So, focus on that. So, if you're trying to target more your chest, lean forward. If you're trying to target more your triceps, stay in an upright position. But, because this is the last chest exercise, do 15 reps, so moderate weight, and focusing on that chest. Stretch and squeeze. chest, work on triceps, we do three movements for triceps, first one we go heavy, so it's a big compound movement for triceps, first grip bench press, which you want to do here, same thing, shoulders back, always shoulders back, you hear me say this every single time I train, shoulders back, elbows are going to be tucked in, so they're scraping your rib cage, okay, and I like to hold it quite close, so inside this little group of Unlike it, shoulders back, elbows tucked in, so it's coming down, middle of the chest, up. Next one, overhead tricep extensions. What you want to do here is have your elbows locked in and literally just your forearm. Well, well, this part of your arm is going to be doing the moving. So you want to keep this locked in. So 
here, nice and straight, elbows locked in, and then... Three sets, 12 reps, and then we've got one more. Last exercise. Trust the kickbacks with a dumbbell. Last one, focus on like 15 reps. Go really light. What you want to do is either hold on to something or you can do it just standing up. I'll do one at a time, it's easy to, for me to get that stretch. So, lean forward, lock this elbow in, so your arm up against your, your root cage, and you're literally just gonna kick it back. When you get to the top, try and hold it for at least a second. sets, 12 reps, 15 reps, sorry. Yeah, so just focus on getting that squeeze and contraction, all right? That's chest workout done. I will see you guys all at home. And we're back home. Like I said, I didn't record. It's been like three, four hours since, I, since I've been home just on the computer. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Right now, I'm about to leave. And when I come back, I'm gonna have the shirts. So, I will, go, I will see you I will see you guys when I'm back, when I have the shirts. Will I show you guys the shirts? I don't know. Gonna have to wait and see. Alright, see you guys soon. As you've seen, you saw that I got the shirts, got everything. I won't show you guys what the final product looks like, but I'll show you guys the names of what we got. So I'll show you guys that right now. So you guys have seen that. Looks pretty good, but tomorrow you guys will see everybody's reactions and whatnot. But, in tomorrow's video actually, but in saying that, as you can probably tell from the title of this video, is that we're going to Ikea. We're going to go get a few things for the house that I've wanted to for a while. Now that mum's not here, she really doesn't have a choice <laughs> when she comes back and she sees us up. But we're going to like do a full renovation of the house. But until then, we're going to go to Ikea in three, two, one, go. Oh. Oh. No, let's go in there. Try it again. Come on. We're here. Let's go look for what I need. We need a new couch. We need a new table. We need a new wardrobe. We need a new kitchen. Got what I came for. Now I'll see you guys at home. And we're back home. Yeah, that's what I bought. I just bought the mirror nothing too special but it's something that I wanted to buy for a while and yeah I did and that's gonna finish the blog for today hope you liked it if you did make sure you you hit that like button make sure you subscribe keep up with what's happening and and yeah hope you guys enjoy that little segment as well it's pretty fun to film but in saying that make sure you like it again make sure you subscribe again and tell all your friends or your family make sure if you haven't downloaded the free program download it link is in the description download it it's for free follow it join the journey see what's happening and yeah i'll show you what the shirts look like tomorrow the end product all right i'll see you guys all tomorrow bye bye